Today we're going to talk about participial adjectives. These are those words that my students always mix up with bored and boring or interested and interesting. So we're going to talk about the differences between those two types of participial adjectives and how to choose the correct one. So first let's talk about our terms. When we talk about a present participle, we're talking about that ing form of a verb. And when we talk about the past participle, we're talking about that ed or other part, past participle form of the verb. And we can use these present participles and these past participles like adjectives in English. We use the past participle form like bored to describe a feeling. Usually this is describing how usually a person is feeling, whether they're bored or interested or tired. Um, we use the past participle for those feelings. And we use the present participle to talk about the thing that causes that feeling. So something is boring or interesting or tiring. Usually it's not a person, although sometimes there is a boring person that makes you feel bored. But the present participle is talking about the cause of the feeling. And the past participle is talking about the actual feeling that you have. So let's look at some example sentences. All of these are going to be with the words confusing and confused. So we will try to choose whether we're going to use the present participle, confusing, or the past participle, confused. Our first sentence is, the story was... Now we have to think, is this story feeling confused or is this story confusing, making the readers or the students feel confused? I would say the story was confusing because it caused the readers to feel confused. And then we see in sentence number two, the students were confused. That's how they felt when they read the story. They felt confused. Sentence number three shows us we can not only use this with a subject, be, verb, adjective, we can use it to modify a noun. We have either confused or confusing, students ask questions, describing the type of students who ask questions. So, is this describing students who are confusing or are they feeling confused? How do you feel right before you ask a question? Are you a confusing student? No, you're a confused student before you ask questions. Confused students ask questions. And our last example is about tests. This adjective is describing the tests. We'll say confusing tests are difficult. The tests are confusing and they cause the students to feel confused. So think through these, these rules of present participle for causing a feeling and past participle for the feeling itself and try to write some example sentences, maybe with bored and boring or interested and interesting. Try to write some example sentences to really solidify that rule in your mind.